Welcome to the second part uh, of the beads tutorial. Today we will create this uh, metal part here and actually we will create it uh, quite straight in every direction also here in this one. I will model it straight and afterwards I will use the bend deformer to bend um, one time in this direction. There's a, a very small bend and also I will uh, do the bend here with the deformer. Of course you can model it um, also bent from the beginning but I just want to show it show you a different kind of modeling techniques. So here we go. We'll change into the side view and Navigation is a little bit difficult sometimes. Um, I start with a ring, uh, with pipe, sorry, uh, pipe, and Just rotate it 90 degree and scale it up. Switch again to the side view. Try which thickness. Um, yeah, this thickness could be quite okay. And maybe a little bit thicker. Yeah, I'm happy with uh, 0 0.12. Um, no, but actually, you know that this, these images aren't perfectly orthographic, so you have um, a little bit of, of um, don't know what's the word called, uh, Verzerung. So actually, uh, I should adjust my thickness uh, at uh, this part here, so I have to scale it even more. Maybe I use two. Okay, I think I'm happy with that. So don't be um, too irritated. Uh, I model this quite straight, so uh, the image won't fit exactly uh, with my modeling. But what I do here is I take actually this vertices, I pull them up, also take this one. Push it even higher. I adjust it from this side, just leave that. And what I do, try to model a parallel. Of course, you can um, you can mirror it later on. So I adjust my thickness here. Oops. Check here in this view. Could be even thinner. That's okay. Now I take these two faces. I just scale them so that they are straight and do extrudes. 
I try one. I press G on the t on the keyboard to repeat the extrusion. Another G and G and the last one. Okay. Uh, I need more extrudes for five uh, because otherwise the bending won't work. So you need uh, different divisions here, otherwise it won't work. Uh, what I do, I adjust the thickness here. Go to my side view and I try, could I pick the vertices here without, yeah. Just make them a little bit thinner here. Uh, actually, there is uh, a hole here in the um, geometry, but you can't see it. But uh, if you like a very good mark, you know, uh, my dear students, uh, then you should mull it. So let's go back. Yeah, check in my three mode. The base basic form is okay. Of course, I need uh, edge loops, but I think I will insert the edge loops afterwards. Uh, I try the bending at this point. So don't forget to save your scene sometimes. Um, it's four. And now I select the object in the object mode and we have to switch our menu to animation that we can find here the menu deformer and we'll use the nonlinear deformer and say bend and see what happened okay check here uh, in the uh, channel box when I Type in a curvature 5, you see, okay, where is the direction going? I just uh, decrease it so that you see it a little bit better. Do even more, that you see really good. Okay, so nothing happens because the deformer doesn't uh, lie in a good direction, actually. So we have to rotate uh, the deformer, for example, in this direction. Okay, rotate set and it depends also on the position where the deformer is here okay where it affects actually and I may get a good result when I just use it in that way I switch to the side view Okay, I see here at the bottom it's not bent uh, so much, but uh, here at the top it is bent a little bit more. So I just move up my deformer, okay, and now I select the object and the deformer to reposition it yeah, and, and check, okay, how would it fit best here in my geometry. And then I only select the deformer. Maybe I use even more, more curvature. You have to test it, okay. Um, you can also say, I just put the low bound to zero. No, that's too much. I put it 0 0.5. So it don't affect so much here at, at the bottom. And actually when uh, I have this settings, it depends also where you put it. Just try to create here the basic form 
this looks quite okay I think of course I have to, to fix it afterwards uh, in in more detail but it uh, helps me to find our first curvature and that's quite quite easy mm, just trying to use here not too much bending yeah so just try uh, it depends on how you created your geometry but uh, this uh, will use I think they work quite well and of course you, you may adjust it here inside but the second step I will do I need a second deformer so I go in again nonlinear bend uh, also try to look at the curvature okay and this bend I rotate one time and this rotate x 90 degree and I rotate set minus 180 because you know okay see it uh, that I get this kind of deformation and the curvature I think is here too much mm. and I also push it even more down so it should be uh, actually in the middle where also the other part is so uh, now for me at this point it's not um, so easy to to see how much do I need the band here because uh, I need that geometry before so um, I'd like you to create this geometry and then uh, may you may go back to this part here and try to create your uh, bending you can also do it per hand it depends totally on you but uh, to find the best fitting here you need that geometry before uh, and when you don't uh, delete these bend bends you can adjust them later on so okay that was the basic uh, information about this metal part do the detailed part on your own and try to find a perfect connection between this and uh, the ear the earphone part itself okay fine bye